So I want to show you how to be able to use mobile friendly email templates inside of Infusionsoft. So right here I'm in the, the new send an email broadcast beta version and of course you're going to enter your subject line, change your, your user and stuff. I can't help but point out a couple of things right off the bat here that are just terrible. Never include this thing. <laughs> That's just terrible. But we're going to go actually to the HTML code builder version. And we're going to go ahead and select all this and just delete it out. And you're going to take that template that was provided with you. I'm going to go to that real quick. I've got the template open in the HTML editor. You could open it in any text um, program. They can open an HTML file, which would be like Notepad on your Windows machine or the, the similar on a Mac. And a lot of this you don't even need to ever look at. So sometimes people get intimidated by HTML. And really all we need to do in this case is um, this header is something that is we created for our emails. If you have a little logo and you have a place where you're, that logo is stored on the internet, you could replace this link right here and have your logo there. And you could replace where it says fix your funnel with the name of your company. If you want to not have that, you can delete that out entirely. And all you need to know, really, to be able to create these emails, unfortunately, is you got to just know about this P tag. So it is a open bracket, a P, a closing bracket, and then this other one that has a slash right before the P. And don't let yourself get intimidated by it. Just look at it and say, that's just something you got to be put before and after each line of text I have. You can use all your merge variables just like you would in any other email. In fact, we'll just go ahead and grab this and we'll copy it. And we'll bring it over here to our, our editor. And this is the code editor. So a couple things I want to point out to you is one, just make sure that you have an opening and a closing P. What I usually do because it's easier is I just copy and paste. So I might copy that and then uh, paste that in there. And I can replace this then with my next line. I write my email. And once I got my email all in there, then I'm good to go. Another thing that you'll see here is I have this little style Thing. What this means is it's going to say this whatever link I want to look like a button is going to show up in the center of the email, no matter how wide or, or thin that is. And then I have this class btn-primary, and I put that for any link that I would like to have in that email. And I can click on preview. You see that makes it look like a little button because it has that class on there. So here I am. I've also got a video embedded here and I'll show you what that looks like. So that's this this uh, video right here and all I have is an image linking in there and you replace the SRC which stands for source with the, the location of your image so if you want to ever have something like that in your email. And so you can see I have a, a button and a link to a video page and I've got my little signature. I've got another link to another page. And the reason these links are this size is because they're a lot easier to tap on than your, your normal link that you would have in an email that you can take this real precise cursor and point at and click. So this button makes it a lot easier for someone to tap on something in your email and then get to the destination. In the broadcast, now the only downside if you just do a straight up link here is this isn't gonna be trackable at all. They're not going to have trackable links. So if you need trackable links, then you're going to want to put, do this inside of the campaign builder because that will allow you to track the clicks through those links. But in the broadcast, you really don't have that. Okay, so this is a very simple uh, way to get your, your emails mobile friendly. In the browser, they're going to degrade gracefully, so it won't be a big deal. Okay, so let's look at how we do this in the campaign builder just to make sure it's clear for you. So we'll go to communications. We'll drop in an email. We open up that email. We're going to choose from the, the options here and choose Code Builder. Uh, it's unfortunate that we have to do that, but that's again that's where we are at currently. So I'm pasting in that same template that we used before on the broadcast. And the difference here is in these links, it's going to become trackable. So I'm not going to make any adjustments. We're going to still have this link here. And I will mark this as ready to go. We'll leave everything else default as it is there. You won't get a preview. So if you want to see what this looks like, you're going to do send test. Now, 
I can come back out into this campaign and I could have a uh, indicate interest goal. And we'll go to our new email that we made. And as you can see, it looks kind of funky in here. Don't let that, that throw you off. That's just because they don't respect the, the styling that we have set up in this preview for some reason. But I can mark the links that I want to have um, tracked, including image buttons or image links. And with each of these, then I can assign the appropriate um, automation. And that is how we, we use this mobile-friendly template inside of Campaign Builder, which is the best way for the tracking again. Now, if you want to go really old school and go into the legacy uh, sequences, you're still able to use it. You go to send an email. Um, I'm going to create a new email template. You can use the email that you've already created as well. We're going to save and create the... So here we're going to choose HTML. We're going to click on the drop-down box and go to the Code Builder. Unfortunately, again, that's what we have to use. And then we will clear that all out, paste in our same HTML, make all of our edits. We can do the preview. Okay, so this is how you can use this template in any part of Infusionsoft to get mobile-friendly and also graceful degrading emails, which means it will just look like normal text in an environment where we don't have the mobile device looking at the email.